here are five forgotten Linux distributions. Number 1, Slackware. Slackware is one of the oldest Linux distributions in existence, having first launched in 1993, Slackware is currently the oldest distro, alongside Debian, which was also released around the mid-1990s, but Slackware predates Debian and many other popular distros. Slackware turned 30 years old in 2023, so that shows how successful and good this distro really is, and I have never tried Slackware Linux, so perhaps I will have to give it a go one day. Number 2, Damn Small Linux. The name says it all, this thing is darn small, and it is a Linux operating system, but this distro was discontinued around 2008, so it had been outdated for quite a long time, but rumor has it that damn small Linux is making a comeback, we will have to wait and see as to whether or not we do see a revival of this tiny distro. Number 3, Mandriver Linux. Before Ubuntu and Linux Mint, Mandriver was one of the most popular Linux distributions in existence. However, it has been discontinued since 2011, but Open Mandriver is a community-driven port of Mandriver Linux. Number 4, Nopix. This Linux distro is a rather unique one, as it is designed to recover corrupted systems and data, but it can be used as a live system to do basic stuff like browsing the web, etc. Nopix has been around for a long time and still gets updates and new releases and it's a great distro to use if you need a recovery operating system to recover data from a non-functioning computer. Finally, in at number 5, we have Lindos, and this lives on in the name of Linspire. Lindos was an attempt at getting Windows users to switch to Linux, but this was way back in the XP days, just around the time of XP's debut, a Linux distro called Lindos also hit the scene and it included the Wine program to run Windows software in Linux, but Lindos was nothing but a massive failure, much like Ubuntu and other distros that advertise themselves as a Windows alternative, mate, there is no alternative to Windows, Linux is its own thing, and you shouldn't force non-tech savvy people to use a tech savvy operating system, because I tell you what, Linux requires lots of time, effort, patience, and skill. So if you lack any of those or all of those things, then you should not use Linux at all, it really is not the alternative I would recommend unless you already use open source software that works on Linux, and if you're a gamer, then Linux is not for you either, I don't give a shit about compatibility layers, you don't want to rely on these things long term, because like alcohol, wine can have negative effects on you, long term, and with Linux you're defeating the purpose of using Linux, any time you use a Windows VM or Wine, you literally defeating the purpose of moving to Linux, so there is no point using Linux if all you're gonna do is run Windows software and games, that would be like using a Macintosh to run free and open source software, what the fuck, that does not make much sense, you're buying Macintosh systems so you can have exclusive access to Apple's software and products, and with Linux, you're switching because you want freedom and liberty, and complete and total control over your system, or you're sick of Windows treating you like garbage and you want a system that respects user preferences and choice, and so what if you can run certain Windows software and games on Linux, there is literally no point in even trying, yeah, you can do it, but it's a pointless exercise, so if you're a gamer, I am sorry, but you are better off using Windows, if you use exclusive Windows software. Then Linux is not gonna cut it for you, Linux can only do whatever it can do, it's not made to run on Linux software, so if there are three areas where Linux really sucks, it's gaming, productivity, and music creation, because a lot of the professional software for Windows does not exist on Linux, forcing you to find a free alternative, but sometimes that is just not something you can do, so you're forced into using Windows, either through a virtualization host such as VirtualBox, or, you dual boot Windows with Linux, or run them on different computers, whichever method you use, it's probably not as convenient as just running one system or the other, 
and personally, I would not recommend dual booting Linux and Windows, it can destroy your bootloader and corrupt your data, which may risk losing all of your files and programs in both systems, so I would not recommend you dual boot Linux and Windows, and with Windows 11, it's not even possible to install Linux. Microsoft have disabled the BIOS boot menu in Windows 11 computers, so you cannot change the boot order, or press the boot key to access your bootable media. How fucking stupid is that? Microsoft wonders why people hate Windows. Well, if you fuckwits actually gave us some fucking freedom, maybe we wouldn't hate you cunts so much, but the fucking cunts at Microsoft will keep doing more of the same, taking away our freedom and liberty but this is to apparently protect us from the bad guys, all the while, Microsoft gets the cops to arrest another innocent person who has done nothing wrong, and it was all because that person did something that Microsoft did not like, well fuck you Microsoft you fucking cunts, fucking fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you again, you fucking lousy cunts, I hope you lose business to competitors, you deserve it you ruthless bastards, fucking fuck the lot of the greedy corporations, they are all cunts, and they just want your money, they do not care about your user experience, so if you want to switch to Linux, don't buy a new computer, unless it's a computer you build yourself, where you can remove things such as the TPM module, which will free you to install any system you like, but with the TPM module, no, no such thing is doable, you're stuck with whatever the computer comes with, Chromebooks are locked down in a very similar way, they are designed only to run Chrome OS, so the BIOS is locked down and very difficult to access without following tedious tutorials, and it's incredibly difficult to install another OS on a Chromebook, and to see Microsoft making normal computers restricted to one OS fucking shits mid tears, I fucking hate that, we buy the computer, we should fucking own it, but oh well, what else can you do, when windows goes subscription based, I will seriously switch all my PCs to Linux, there's no way I'm gonna put up with Microsoft's shit once windows becomes a money pit, and that's the future guys, don't tell me Microsoft ain't gonna make windows subscription based, you know it's coming, it's just a matter of when windows will become subscription based and that could be with the next release of Windows, Windows 12, which might not come till 2025, so we will have to wait and see as to what Microsoft does with Windows 12, I guarantee it will push more people to Linux, especially those with older computers that cannot run Windows 11 or 12. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.